So do the kids actually work on these helicopters? Yes, they do. They do. They work on helicopters, they work on the planes. Uh -huh. uh, a lot of them will, after this, go work for the military. Really? To do maintenance, so we have some military planes. Wow. And are these some of the larger engines used on planes? Look at this. Yeah, uh, I think the, that, that one powers a 747. Oh, this is a 747 right 747 here. 747 engine, yeah. That's the inside of the... This was donated by FedEx. Wow. From, and it came from California. Wow. Okay. So FedEx shipped it over for us. Darn. So we do get a lot of support from industry. Right. Yeah. Look at this. Oh my God. So it looks like here's one of the classes they're going on. Here the pregame, right? Yes, correct. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Shake your hand, but yeah. I, well, it's pretty impressive. So are you the kind of the coordinator here? Uh, no, I'm one of the lecturer here. Yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah, so I'm assigned to actually uh, guide you around. Oh, okay. Yeah, the facility. So Great. this is our uh, aviation hub. Wow. Yeah, so uh, we have a couple of uh, aircraft that used to train the students. Right. Uh, the more recent uh, one is this Boeing 77. And, and what do you, how do you train the students in this? What do oh. you... Okay, uh, we break them into two various aspects, like the mechanical trade and the avionics trade. Okay. So uh, the mechanical trade will basically do things like uh, structure, repair, inspection. Okay. Yeah. While the avionics trade will be trained on instrument. So uh, there's an onboard uh, simulator system that we set up. So that is one of the aspects that the student can be trained upon. Yeah. So they'll get like an, like a, what do they call it, AMP? license type of thing? Yeah. Air, yes. Airframe power plant? Yes, very similar to that. Right. That's for the MAC group people. So the electric, uh, uh, the avionics group will get uh, qualification eventually on avionics and uh, electrical. So a student, say, by the age of 19 could get some this type of qualification? Uh, by the age of 19, uh, they, yeah, so around there. I am going into this this plane and they are, oh so they would learn how to repair this type of things and yes uh, they'll do things like uh, uh, for the Mac group people they'll do things like uh, inspect the safety harnesses uh -huh. uh, for instance sure and the avionics student can actually experience things like panel removal right uh, they can even operate the simulator to see how the uh, because there's a glass cockpit setup right so they will be able to appreciate the various instrument of an okay. aircraft yeah wow and how to repair these type of things and yes yes first class and business class seats you have yeah. to repair and do sure it. hydraulic piping oh the, all the lines that run through and how to repair those yeah so they get appreciation on how the lines are being routed on an aircraft sure yeah I, i've never seen this before <laughs> what are the various station right of an aircraft pneumatic structure? ducts yeah neat hydraulic piping Pretty neat. And do they actually work on these type of engines here, or they would do that type of stuff in there? They would do that type of stuff. In there. Okay. Yeah. This is just a box car. Okay. And here's some kids. You can see groups of kids being trained right now. So they do things like uh, using our uh, turnbuckle trainer. Uh huh. Yeah. So they practice to do lock for wire, uh, wiring on the turnbuckle set. Is that what this is? Yes, this is a turnbuckle uh, cable tensioning trainer set. This would be something like what's inside an airplane here. Yes. Yeah. For those that is running using uh, cables. Right. Yeah. So they do tensioning. They'll learn to do tensioning, uh -huh. uh, measure the tension depending on the temperature. Sure. Then after which uh, they will secure the turnbuckle. Wow. Yeah, and do perform while locking. And then what would be happening in some, a class like this? Uh, this basically the room is used for debriefing, mm -hmm. debriefing purposes. Okay. Yeah. And this is a simulator. This is a simulator. Yeah, but it's not uh, uh, fully established at this point. Okay. Yeah. And uh, this model here plus some of the two new acquired aircraft that you saw outside. Sure. One uh, helicopter and the other A4 Skyhawk. 
right. actually uh, recently transferred to us from one of our local universities. Oh, wow. But you said one of the large Rolls-Royce engines are built here in Singapore. In Singapore. And why not, why don't they build it in another country? I mean, for less, less labor costs. I suppose that question only Rolls Royce can answer. Right. But I think uh, having skilled manpower. There you is go. One, one, one consideration. They have really high skilled people that can build these sophisticated machines. And the government machines. gives them a lot of incentive to locate them themselves yeah. here. Yeah. 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 But and, and also, Singapore is like a, a, a hub for sure. the aviation industry. Okay. So uh, a lot of the uh, repair work and the maintenance work is taking place here. But they, they donate things to the school. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we have one. Okay. Then you can actually go around a little bit more. Man, that's pretty impressive. Some. These are what? In, what did these say? Uh, this is the uh, aircon system. Air yeah. condition. Air condition workshop. Currently, we do not have any class attending this particular right. module. Sure. Uh, at this hour, but uh, this is uh, what is being used to train them. They, mm -hmm. they perform uh, certain parts, uh, R&I, mm -hmm. as in removal installation tasks, as right. well as to learn how to actually dust while locking on specific components as well. Wow. Yeah. And when these kids get out, are these fairly good paying jobs? Uh, these maintenance? Yeah. They pay relatively well. Yeah. It's highly sorted by the industry in Singapore. I bet. Yeah. And these are some of the other. Yeah, this, uh, this is a landing gear trainer. Right. Uh, we, currently, we just park here temporarily. Right. So, uh, if there's a required for them to understand the working principle of a landing gear system. And how it works, yeah. So, yeah, so they will use this uh, simulation. About $400 million. Wow. This, just this one campus this, was 400 this, this million. Just this campus, yeah. Darn. Yeah, 400 million. Yeah, it's got the word AMK, which is Amokio, which is where we are. There's your plane. Yeah, over we have a plane there, yeah. We're going to see the So there's the School of Engineering for this school, and as I'm kind of looking around here, you can just see how beautiful and well designed this school is, and I'm looking through. There's some indoor soccer courts, and they've got a huge facility on the other side for, uh, for their sports program.